It's a bit of a retail revival in the market with apparel stocks looking especially hot as the economy continues to recover. One of the hottest, Crocs, which popped 10% in reaction to a strong quarterly report in late July. That's after hitting a low of roughly eight bucks a share in March 2020. And now the stock is trading around the 130 mark. Joining me now with more on what's ahead for the shoe company is Crocs CFO Ann Melman. Thanks for being here today, Ann. Yeah, thanks for having me. So Crocs reported sales growth of 93% in the most recent quarter, marking four quarters of acceleration. What's fueling the strong growth that you're seeing? Yeah, it's really been a great story overall. This is actually our fourth consecutive year now of revenue growth. And obviously this year, you know, we talked about, we just came off a very, very strong quarter where we grew over 90%. And that was really fueled by all regions. So strong growth in all of our segments, including Americas, Asia, and EMEA as well as all of our channels. So really strong digital growth partnered with um, brick and mortar growth on both our wholesale and retail side. So really broad based um, and across all products and all channels. Well, let's dig into the maybe the products and uh, the application type side of the segments too. There was, of course, that huge initiative for Crocs supplying shoes to healthcare workers during the pandemic. So the medical sector is one area many people will uh, find Crocs. But what other segments would you say is driving the most growth out there? Is it children? What area is it? Yeah, we have a really democratic consumer base, which is one of the keys to our success. So we're seeing success, broad-based success across men, women, and kids. Um, we're seeing that in both our core iconic product, our clog product, which has continued to grow year over year. And that's been a lot of the resurgence of the brand four years ago was you know, really igniting our icon, as well as seeing growth in our sandals business. So in the sandals business, we saw over 50% growth this quarter. And that is one of our key long-term growth initiatives. Um, as it's a little bit of a bigger market than clogs. And then finally, that's all topped off by our personalization and really connecting with that consumer. So that's driving both the younger consumer and our uh, more traditional consumer to really engage with the brand. And also at play are the marketing campaigns and the collaborations with various brands and celebrities that Crocs has for everything from Benefit Cosmetics to Justin Bieber. So talk about how that strategy is working and what you're doing with those collaborations. Yes, our marketing team is incredibly talented and we've really launched a very successful collaboration strategy. We did Christopher Kane and Balenciaga to start and then we did Justin Bieber and Post Malone was a really big one. We did Bad Bunny last year and this year we're really um, starting to see a lot more international collaborations. So in the quarter we did Little Big, which is a Russia rave band. It's one of my favorites, bright paint spiked clog. So really broad based um, all over kind of um, internationally as far as making this collaboration work and um, bringing in new customers and consumers into the brand. And you mentioned the digital component as the uh, point of sale. What share of sales is coming from digital at this point? Yeah, it's about 36% of our overall revenue is digital. And when we talk about digital, we include our own e-commerce, so our own dot-coms, as well as our partners dot-coms that are pure play. So the Amazon, Zappos, and Zalandos of the world. And that's how we talk about our digital business. And we've actually doubled our digital business from 2019. Last year was a little bit of a tough comp as this quarter, everything was shut down. But um, we still grew our business, digital business over 25%. And then over 2019, um, again, we almost doubled the business. So very excited about our digital going forward. So that's a trend that you expect to continue. And uh, what do you think can be done to continue to fuel that growth from the e-commerce perspective? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we think digital is one of our major initiatives going forward and we're really spending money to invest behind that. And whether that be new payment methods, new ways of connecting with consumers, data and analytics to personalize their journey, as well as just being on the platforms where our consumer are um, globally. So we sell in different marketplaces around the world as well as our own .coms and as I mentioned, our e-tail .coms. And then on top of that, our marketing is actually 100% digital. So we really connect with our consumers and we're really seeing the lines between digital commerce and social start to blur. And so that's been a really interesting trend that we think will continue over the next three or four years. And we're really investing behind that. Now they say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. There are a number of copycat type shoes out there, including from Walmart and Skechers that the company is fighting against with new lawsuits. What are your thoughts on what you're seeing out there in the competitive landscape? 
Yeah, we will always be aggressive, you know, in protecting um, our shoes and our intellectual property rights. I will say, you know, I can't comment specifically on on ongoing litigation, but I will say that um, you know we put a lot of investment behind our brand, and so we take it very seriously, and um, we will protect you know our brand and make sure that our consumer gets the authentic product they deserve. What would you say is the biggest strategic initiative right now that Crocs is working on to continue this growth trajectory that you're on? Yeah, so we have three big pieces. So one, we talked about digital and our journey to continue to drive digital. Um, the second is sandals. So second, is, sandals is actually a larger market than clogs, even though clogs right now is the majority of our revenue. Our sandals, as I mentioned, makes up about 18% of our revenue, up over 50% in the quarter. Um, and that is, you know, a, um, a place where we know our consumer comes to us for product. So continuing to build out sandals and directing that for the consumer. And then finally um, is really Asia and specifically China. China is the second largest footwear market in the world. So that's a huge opportunity for us going forward. And thank you so much for your time today and helping us understand the story that's going on with Crocs right now. Thank you, really appreciate the time. Hi there, thanks so much for watching Investing Strategies on our YouTube channel. If you want more executive interviews and analysis of key trends to watch, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date.